A deadly way of getting drunk is making a comeback. Smoking alcohol. It's a way of drinking without the calories, and that's one of the so-called perks. But as Courtney Gary shows us, this uh, low-cal trend is also the most dangerous way to get drunk. Courtney? Yeah, it is. The smoking alcohol craze has stayed mostly underground, but the Internet gives teens step-by-step -step instructions on how to smoke alcohol. Now there's a push to educate parents and teens about this potentially deadly way of drinking. For those who love to drink but are watching their weight, smoking alcohol is the in thing in some bars in cities like L.A. and Chicago. And now teens are trying this at home. Anything you smoke, that's not good. It looks like some sort of bong. Because it sounds nutty. Oh my gosh. How does that work? A simple YouTube search will show you how. Video after video illustrating how to vaporize and inhale booze. They seem to kind of know what they're doing. Um, a little crazy, maybe. If you don't want the calories, I guess that's the way to go. But ER Dr. Ryan Murphy insists the risks outweigh any potential weight loss benefits. Alcohol poisoning, uh, rapid intoxication, loss of consciousness. This fad is making a comeback thanks in part to the internet. Chris Wardlow is a drug and alcohol abuse prevention specialist. He says young people are six times more likely to die from alcohol than all the other drugs combined. The primary reason being is that it, it, it impairs their judgment and then you put them under the influence of alcohol and it just intensifies uh, the risks that they're willing to take. The trend inspired devices like the Vapor Teeny, sold online for about $35, with everything you need to smoke alcohol except the booze. Today's TMJ4 reached out to the maker of the Vapor Teeny, but our emails were not returned. But according to the company's website, it defends smoking alcohol. This has the advantage of no calories, no carbs, no impurities. Unlike traditional consumption of spirits, Vapertinis give more control. Shortly after exhaling, all of the effects of the alcohol consumed are felt. But Dr. Murphy says that's why smoking alcohol is so dangerous. You are essentially getting intoxicated without giving your body any way to fight back. The body's defense mechanism, if you drank too much, would be you get sick and you vomit and the alcohol comes back out. However, if you're breathing the alcohol in, you don't really have that safety mechanism. And some people smoke alcohol by pouring it over dry ice, but health experts warn that method even more dangerous. The dry ice is toxic, so inhaling the vapors exposes you to high levels of carbon monoxide, which can really make you sick. Fewer calories, but, I, you know, the a balance here, not good. Yeah, no. it sounds like a dangerous way to get high. According to doctors, it is. Yeah, right. Thanks, Courtney. Thank you, Courtney. Well